Hi, welcome back. And if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Kim from Zephyr Designs. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my fall inspiration projects that I plan on working on, what I'm gravitating towards on making, just sharing a little bit of that since we're coming up to fall. <laughs> it's crazy how fast this year has gone by. I like it, but then I don't like it. And I only say I like it because I have been pregnant pretty much this whole year. So in that sense, I am like, oh, cool. I'm almost towards the end and baby will be here soon. But then in the other sense, it's like time is just moving way too fast and it needs to slow down just a little bit. But I am excited for fall. Fall, I haven't always, I mean, I've liked fall in the past. I'm not saying I've never liked fall, but before winter used to be my favorite, favorite season. Now it's definitely fall as I've gotten a little older. It, it has been fall, though the weather is just that nice, you know, 50s, 45 to like 55 degrees. It's just the perfect temperature that air is cool it's not hot even throughout the day it doesn't really get hotter than that so that's always nice i definitely am not like a heat type of person uh, i enjoy it when i'm on vacation but i definitely like coming back to that cooler temperature so i am excited about this fall like i said it's it's one of my new favorite seasons i've kind of switched over the last couple years two three years ago i'm like fall falls my season it's it's got the nice weather as far as the air and there's not a lot of snow <laughs> not that i mind the snow i love the snow when it's falling and it's fresh i think it's more of when it decides that it wants to stay when it should be spring i think that's when i start getting like oh my goodness why are you still here it should be springtime but anyways fall let's stick with fall so i have put this video is going to have two categories because i knit and crochet i kind of separated it i was i was going i think it's going to make better like i think it will flow nicer if i just start with knits and then crochet i was going to mix them together but just in case you're only here to maybe see my knit inspiration you could just focus on that or maybe you just want to see the crochet side of what i am finding inspiring or who knows, maybe you want to watch all of it and you can just hang out and we can talk about that. So, but I am going to start with the knit part. Um, but before that, I did want to share just kind of the colors that I'm gravitating towards for this fall. I am already a person who mostly sticks with dark tones. So black, navy, blue, um, a deeper type of you know like lately I've been gravitating towards purple but a deep tone of purple and then of course the grays like darker shades of grays those are typically the colors that I gravitate towards I do try my best to get out there and you know wear lighter colors <laughs> but I definitely like the darker tones anyways this year, I mean, or at this point in my life, or just because of fall and just what I'm seeing and what I'm gravitating towards, I put together the color palette that I just really like right now. And there is a little bit more than just dark tones in there. There's a little bit of light tones in there. And it could change. I mean, I could add to that. Um, I might pick different colors depending on, on the project that I'm working on, but for right now, these are the colors that I'm gravitating towards for this fall, and I really, really like them. They're maybe not the typical, I mean, they kind of are, but they aren't the typical fall colors, but they're just the ones that, again, I'm gravitating towards. <laughs> and yeah, so that's my color palette for the fall. And for knits, so let's go ahead and start with knits. I'm going to start with one that I've kind of already talked about in my journal slash podcast, if you haven't watched that. And it's a sweater that I am working on. 
that kind of fits into the fall season because the colors I chose are also kind of fall colors or you know what I wanted to see and that is the Puntilla Pullover by Hohi Locatelli I believe is how you pronounce her last name and I just really like how it is going I like the contrast that she has it's, it's not too much it's just a little bit on the sleeves and then down below with the ribbing she's got that different contrasting color so I really that's one of the things that I really liked about this sweater and I also liked it because it's got the boxy it's on a fitted form sweater I'm not against the fitted form sweaters I have made well, I haven't made any for myself, but I have made some. I think if I were to make one for myself, I don't think it would still be form-fitting just because I'm not, I just prefer looser clothing. So, but yeah, so this sweater is definitely on my already work, you know, work in progress, but it's just going to fall into this category of, um, a fall and she uses a fingering weight yarn which is what I also picked and um, the needle size that she uses for that is size four and then you switch over at some point to a two and a half and I believe that will be for the lacy part of the of the of the work where it switches over to the contrasting color so yeah, so that one's been exciting. I've just kind of been going on that one. And that's my first one that I'm just going to kind of be carrying over into fall time. So moving on to the... Now these, I, I should have mentioned this before. I try to be very realistic here because, yes, I know that a lot of these are just like my inspirations and goals of what I would like to make during this fall season. I didn't have a huge list because I wanted to keep it also realistic because I know I will have a baby pretty soon. So time wise, I might be like overreaching. So it's not to say that I'm going to make all of these. I would love to make all of these if time allows and it will be awesome if I can. But these are just, of course, more of my goals and inspirations. Just so you know, <laughs> just in case, I don't plan on this. I mean, I plan on making them all, but I may not reach that goal is all I'm trying to say. Um, the Okay, so the actual ones that I would like to then add on once I finish my other project is the Weekender Sweater. Um, I should say Pullover. The Weekender Pullover by Andrea Mau Maury. I have been wanting to make this one for a while. I also like it because, again, it's more of the boxy um, style. It's got the drop shoulder as well. And it's working with a worsted weight yarn, so it should work up quickly or quicker. And I just like how it flows. It's just a very, um, you could use this sweater for almost anything. I mean, the Weekender sweater seems to be a very versatile sweater where you could just kind of wear it for uh, many occasions. And I think it just would be a perfect addition for the fall season when it, it when it is a little bit on the cooler side. And this could definitely be something that you could wear over a t-shirt or a shirt, you know, like a tee and layer because, you know, sometimes fall, the weather can, you can wake up and the weather is nice and cool in the morning, but then towards the afternoon it could still maybe get a little bit hot and I definitely am, am on the hotter end of things so I tend to to get kind of hotter quicker so it it's just a sweater that you can kind of take off and be like oh, okay you know it's a little bit hot now or warmer and then if it cools down you could just put it on again so I do like that about this sweater so I am looking forward to working on that one the next one that I have on my inspirations is the Flax by Tin Can Knits. This one is more so for baby girl. Um, I really want to make her a sweater, a baby sweater so she can wear. I'll probably make, um, start with a zero to six size more towards, I've not, I haven't really looked at the directions for that specific size. I have made this sweater before. This was the first sweater that I 
ever knitted before in my life. And I made one for my nephew when he was, I think he was already a toddler at that time. And it was my first time doing a sweat, um, knitting a sweater. So that was a very nice starting project because it is for beginners and it's very, it was very explanatory. Like I, I would, didn't have too much of a problem. I don't remember having too many issues on how to do the, you know, the construction. The instructions are well written in my opinion. And so I just figured, I think, I think this would be a good project to make for baby girl and have for her to wear when she's a little older, but still it could be a little like big and it will, she will grow into it. So I'm super excited about that one because since I've, I started knitting a little after I had my other two kids. So I really haven't made them any garments, but right now, and I just recently started making garments probably four years ago, but not very consistently. So this is a very exciting for me because I am, am trying to make more of my own garments to wear, whether that be knitting, crocheting, and or sewing. I'm working towards that because one, I think it's awesome. Two, it's, you get the fit you want. You know, sometimes when you go to the store, you just don't, you just don't get the fit you want. The clothes doesn't fit quite the way your body is shaped. So I am wanting to do more of that for myself and for my family. So I am super excited that I am kind of starting with the, my baby girl. So she'll be the one who gets a lot of the, uh, you know, handmade items that will fit her really well, or maybe that I'm going to sew her for her. It'll be great. And I'm super excited about that. So this is definitely a project that I, I want to have done for this fall season. So, um, cause I know some of these, like depending, I haven't yet quite prioritized which ones I want to have, but I know for sure that this one's on the top. This one's definitely one that I want to complete this fall. The last item that I have for my fall season inspiration that I would like to, I'm probably going to say this about each one of them. I'd like to really try to get it done because it's the truth is it's an accessory. It's more of an accessory. It is the berry picker fingerless gloves by Sheila knits. And I just love the cable work that's on top of the hand. I think it's very beautiful and it's just like the perfect amount. It's not overdone in my, you know, it just it kind of fits my style, I guess. And I just wanted to have a pair of, I've, I have yet to make any gloves that have the fingers on it. So this will be exciting because they don't go all the way to the tips. It just kind of ends right in the middle. So I, I, I do like that. And like I mentioned earlier, I do tend to go to be more on the hotter side. So wearing too much, too many layers or too many, you know, like I really don't wear a coat necessarily in the fall slash winter time because I do tend to get hot. So this is just nice because they're fingerless. So my fingers can still breathe or still have some cool air. I can, sometimes I don't like the feel of gloves complete gloves because then it's just kind of a little bit more bulkier when you're, you know, trying to grab something or even just driving. So I'm just excited. I'm just excited about these. Like I've been wanting to make these since she came out with the design. So I'm happy that this is going to be on my list because then some of these, you know how it goes. You have a project that you want to make or you see something and you're like, oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. I need to put this on my to-do list. And then that to-do list gets, gets bigger and bigger and it grows and it grows. And then it's like, they start moving down. <laughs> and so some of these I've just had for forever, you know, like on my to-do list. And now I think this is going to be a very helpful way of like picking the projects that I have yet to do and be able to try them out. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I'm doing this as well and sharing this because then I can also work on it and have like a more organized way of knitting 
and crocheting if if possible of course I'm not saying things can't change so yes and the, she uses worsted weight um, yarn for these gloves and that's the other thing if you most of the items that I have picked I have almost not purposefully I'm not I don't want to say that because a lot of these I just have been wanting to make but they are more on the worsted and up weight like chunky bulky yarn I did kind of have in mind of my situation that's coming up you know the timing that I'm gonna have and just bulkier yarns work up quicker and I wanted to be realistic with my time so you will notice a lot of projects are more on that weight category for the yarn but at the same time to me for this season it just kind of fits because if you're not a person like let's say you're a person like me who doesn't really put a lot of layers on or doesn't really wear a, you know a heavy coat or a or maybe even a jacket it's just nice to have that something that will keep you warm and it's like the perfect thing to wear and that's all you need you know and, and you'll see with my other items that I have on here you'll see what I'm talking about it'll just be like that perfect addition to keeping you warm but still looking you know stylish or however you want to view that um, I have a def definitely a different taste as you'll notice maybe um, I'm not really one that kind of keeps up with trends I kind of just wear what I like to wear um, and the style that I like is is kind of different uh, but yes you'll see anyways so that is in my knit category those were the those are the projects that I plan on working on that I have are that are inspiring me inspiring me for this fall um, and yes so if you were only interested in the knit part those are all my items I thought I was gonna have more but I think this is the perfect amount just because there's this, the pullovers there. So the, those take time, a little bit more time than, you know, other projects. So, but yes, either way, I'm excited about all of those. So now I'm going to move on to my crochet inspiration. And I'll start with, again, the one that I'm carrying over that I've already started and I think is... Goodness, like I said, I'm going to say this a lot. I think it's going to be a great fall season wear because it's just, it's not too much and it's not too little. It is the Granny Square Cardigan by Originally Lovely. And it's just a nice addition to your, your clothing underneath, you know. You might not be, it might not be a very warm day, but you want to have something over over yourself to keep warm you know have that option so the colors and the colors on this one aren't quite the colors I chose they're they're in between that fall not all the colors are fallish but I still think it's gonna work for fall because fall isn't quite the dark tones yet and you know sometimes you just gotta be a little bit more lively <laughs> I should tell that to myself, huh? Um, but yes, i am been working on this and I'm excited to have this done and talk about it in my journal. The next, okay, so that is the one that I'm carrying over from just, I've already started, so it's already in the works. Um, so now I'm going to move into what I hope to have to get done for this fall season. And this is something that has been on my list for a while and I'm happy that I'm finally putting it on my list to do because it is definitely something that I would wear and it's called the chunky well she she names it the chunky bulky wrap vest or just chunky wrap vest <laughs> just to kind of minimize the name and it is just in my opinion pretty awesome I this is kind of the style that I like to wear or what I would like to see myself wear and um, picture it with some combat boots or just some boots. <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe not super combat style, but 
definitely more not on the, you know, um, well, I was going to say more on the dressier side boots, but, or some heels, you know, maybe some more of like combat-ish heels. I mean, I think this would just look pretty amazing. And I love the hood. I'm <clears throat> very big on hoodies. Maybe not so much nowadays. I mean, I, I am, but I'm not because like I said, I get, you know, it, it inevitably comes off. Anyways, point is, I think this is pretty cool. I'm excited to, to make this for me. I have, like I said, had it on my to-do list for a while and it's just, yes, it is by Stone Sparrow and she's using the a worsted weight yarn triple held. So I'm sure that there could be some modifications there, maybe using just a straight out bulky weight yarn, maybe adjusting. I'm not sure how that might work. I have some yarn in mind for this project. And then I also have like that's worsted. And then I also have um, some yarn in mind that's just bulky, but we shall see how that turns out. I'm not sure what I'm going to pick, but I just know that I'm very excited to make it because I think it's just perfect. Like you, you'll be warm, but you won't be too warm. That's how I kind of see it and picture it. So yes, excited about this one. The next one on my list is called the Juno Shrug. This one is uh, by Michelle Costa and she uses super bulky here as well. But you see what I mean? Like this one is just a, the perfect kind of like shrug that you just put on. You got your clothes. The day is, you know, nice and cool, but it's calling for maybe some sunniness. It might go up to like 55 maybe you know 50 55 it's just you put that on and it it can change your outfit I mean that's just how I'm seeing it in my head it's like oh you're wearing maybe something you just put that on and it changes your outfit and it looks pretty the, at least for with the yarn that she used is it looks like it could be very businessy casual to wear for work it's, you know, or just, a, you're, or casual. I mean, it just looks really nice and I really like it. Um, I think it would just be, it just seems like it would be something super comfortable to wear. And so I am excited about this one. I kind of thought that um, this one, to be honest, I was thinking for my sister because it just seems like it would be something that she would wear. And even the color would almost be something that she would pick, though I'm not sure if she would actually wear this color. I might have to pick a different color, but that's what came into my head when I saw this one. And I like it too, but I think that this would be something that I would make for her or we shall see. I just really liked how it looks. And there's so many shrugs like this out there, so many different variations and styles. And they're all very nice. This one I picked because, like I mentioned before, it's got the bulky yarn and I'm wanting to be realistic with my time. So the next one is called the Lazy Day Days, Lazy Days Triangular Shawl. Wow, let's say that again. <laughs> the next one on my list is the Lazy Days Triangular Shawl. This seems to be a shawl. I really wanted to have a shawl in my list because I like making shawls. I've made several shawls and not necessarily for me, but I enjoy making them. So this one seemed like one that I, um, it almost looked from the beginning like Tunisian crochet, but I think it's just crochet. And I just like how she picked the colors and had the, I'm not sure if that's actually, no, I, I would probably do the same thing. I just like the way it looks. It looks very nice. It looks, it doesn't look like it would be super big. Um, I didn't quite look at the measurements, complete measurements, but just something to just kind of have for around your neck to keep warm, I think is just the perfect piece that you need. I've got to stop saying perfect. It's just a great piece that you would need for fall. You know, again, 
it's not it wouldn't be too much it would just be almost enough for what you need to kind of have a nice warm you know if it's cooler it just it just makes sense you know it's one of those shawls that you can just quickly throw on on top of your clothes and have a light jacket and you're set to go so I really liked this one I'm looking forward to crocheting it she uses um, oh this is by I forgot to mention who it's by it's by knit knotting and she uses a DK weight yarn and I might I didn't check to see if it was double held or not but either way she uses DK weight yarn okay the next one is another shawl like um, she calls it the racer wrap and I liked this one as well because it looks like a very quick project but also a project that it's just perfect for those days that you don't need that much and you can just add it as an accessory. The racer wrap is by Alexandra Tavel from Two of Wands and she's using bulky weight yarn here and it just seems like it would be something super comfy to have around your neck when you go outside or maybe you're just sitting around in your home and you just want to be comfortable and you can wrap that around yourself I think that it would be just it just sounds so good <laughs> drinking your coffee drinking your tea I mean maybe you're working on something it just sounds like the perfect thing to have over you you know it just the bulky sometimes that's I've, I, I think I've talked about this before chunky slash bulky weight yarn there's just something about it that is just screaming coziness you know coziness you know just comfortableness it's just there and that's kind of the thought process that I've had with a lot of these projects is that it all that's what all that's what I think about it's like this is gonna be super comfortable this is gonna be super soft or super cozy and super like let's get in here and just we're gonna be good you know for the day or for the wherever you might be for that when you're wearing it it's just it just seems like it would be a great thing so super excited about making those the next one is also by two of wands and this one I'm definitely I mean I'm excited about all of them but I mean there is some more than others this one I plan on making for myself I mean obviously I could make these again and would probably love to make them again for whoever if it was like a custom order or something is what I'm trying to say but um this one for sure I'm making for myself because I really love it it's got the the weaving look to it so I do like that it's not necessarily actual weaving but it looks like it and it's the Rose Bridge plaid blanket scarf by two of wands with this one she's using Erin weight yarn but I mean it just looks so pretty she chose really great colors so I'm hoping that when I make this it, I choose great colors as well and it just looks so comfortable I would definitely wear this out because it would just be a scarf and since it's got the word blanket in there I'm assuming it's gonna be nice and wide to kind of almost have like a blanket but I mean come on out it is super pretty in my opinion and I'm not one who's going to pick pink for my, you know, for myself, but on her, it looks really nice and the, it just, it's very pretty. But I think that the colors I choose will be pretty as well. But yes, I'm looking forward to making this one. It's been something that I've been wanting to do. I've, I mean, one day I hope to learn weaving and it would be something that I would do. But for now, this, this works this is like the project for me so I'm looking forward to that one that is definitely one that will be on top of my to-do list out of all of these that I just mentioned so yes but I am excited about all of them those those that pretty much wraps up all the ones that I have been inspired by and gravitating towards I'm excited about all of them I know that, that in my face it probably shows that I'm more excited about some than others but I am excited about all of them and I hope 
but I do have the time to get through most of them and if nothing else it may carry over to the winter season you know because there's going to be winter season and there will be projects for that too so we will see um I did want to kind of show you guys just kind of the yarns I mean obviously I'm trying to use what I have here at home in my studio room I'm trying to just kind of use the the yarns that I I already said that <laughs> I'm but there is some yarns that I would like to try and maybe might end up um, acquiring just because you, I, I don't have every weight here so <laughs> I might need to and I'm gonna be okay with that so but I'm gonna show you what I do have here that I've already kind of picked out and would like to use for these projects if possible I haven't quite looked at every single like I've looked at all the ones that I could look at look at there's a couple here that I have not bought yet so I wasn't able to look at all the details of that one I'm I plan on it though but for now I just wanted to kind of show you just some of the color um, that I have here. Let's see here. Let's make this look a little bit more prettier. And it's almost similar. You know, it's kind of just around that. Um, I'm just going to show you all at once because I'm not saying that I'm going to use all of these colors, but they're just some colors that I would like to use. These almost look very similar, but they're not. They're just kind of, one is a semi, um, let me twist this one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so and th these are from Autumn and Indigo. They're 100% Superwash Merino wool, and I'm hoping, that, I know that there was a couple there that used DK weight size, so, it's not to say that, like I said, I'm not going to use all these colors, but they're just kind of the colors that I would like to see in the projects. So depending on, you know, it might be one or two or who knows, we'll see. So that's one of the, that's some, not one. And then these are 100% wool. They are from Jagger Spun. I really like their yarn and try to use it as much as possible. It is just very beautiful, very squishy, very soft, very, I mean, so is Autumn and Indigo's a Superwash one too. I mean, honestly, I have them here in my studio room for a reason because I do like them. <laughs> um, but here are the colors that I have for this, and this one's worsted weight yarn. So. I know that there was a lot of projects on my list that use worsted weight yarn, so I'm hoping to see some of these colors there. And yeah, they just, they look so pretty. And I think it's gonna fit. Now this one, I'm hoping, it's not quite, I mean, it's got a little bit of fall vibes to it, but it doesn't have a lot. Um, but I'm still putting it in here because this one's gonna be for a baby girl. This is what I'm hoping I, we need to look at the pattern. I, I didn't pay close attention to it, but I'm hoping that maybe one of these skeins or maybe I just go get another one to have, make sure that I have enough. But this will be for her sweater, baby girl's sweater. And I really like the colors. It's got that pink in there for her. It's got some yellow, some grays. So, and it's not even really yellow. It's almost like a mustardy yellow. Um, I really just like this one for her I think it would be perfect like I said I am not a person who would probably wear this kind of color but for baby girl you know she can wear all the colors <laughs> and then she could decide what she likes later on as far as her favorite colors so really excited to use this one like I said it's not super fallish but it is for her so I'm okay with that and then the other one that I have here that I was thinking about using is from a local dyer here in Alaska and it is I think she has um well it's fiber and ice and it's from De Denise Morrison and it just has some beautiful purple 
some, you know, a darker gray, almost black, but it's not quite black and some blues. This one's called Raven. I really like this one and I think this is a super wash worsted on here. So definitely can use this one for one of the projects as well. I did only get one because I did get this like a month, a couple months ago. So I need to go back to the store and see if there's going to be more of this and hopefully not have too much of a difference as far as, um, I'm not sure if this is a lot, uh, a lot number or not, but hopefully I can find very similar to this for one of the projects here. Cause I really like this, this color base. So that's kind of the, that's the yarns that I have here that I plan on using that I know will work for some of these projects. Some of the other yarns I have here may or may not work um, because they're like cotton and I'm wanting to really kind of use wool for most of these projects unless, unless something changes. So we will see, but that's what I have here. And then some of the, just to mention a few um, yarns that I have yet to use that I'd like to use and try out is Magpie Fibers, Arcane Fibers, Sweet Georgia Yarns, and Madline Tosh. That's just some that I have never used and would like to use. I, I've been seeing their colorways that they've been coming out, especially the first three, no, excuse me, the first two I've been seeing kind of like their color, um, well, all of them, they're coming out with their colorways, um, on Instagram and they're just so beautiful, very, very beautiful. And it's like, I kind of get my hands on it, but in due time, I will try those. I'm definitely going to try one or two of those companies, um, this fall. We'll see who knows, but definitely on my list of yarns to try. Um, so that is it for my fall inspiration. Hopefully, maybe you found something that was inspiring to you or that you liked as well. Um, I would love to hear what you're gonna what you're gonna be working on. So feel free to comment below and let me know too. Uh, it's very nice to to see what others are doing or to hear what others are gonna be working on. Plus, it gives you more. You know, you're sharing. There's so many designers out there. There's so many projects, you know, so many designers that create these projects for us. So it's always nice to, to n learn about them. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that we are all able to work on our, on our fall inspiration list and have that time to do so. So yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And we will see you on the next one.